my uh, Raspberry Pi little uh, garage door little demo here and uh, I'm using my phone to do it so we're going to do some of the actions that we'd normally do on our phone uh, on my Chromebook uh, down here to my right. So the first thing I want to do is show everyone that there's uh, the traditional traditional buttons that you would use for uh, operating garage door opener. Those are still in place. Uh, if you look at my garage door opener, uh, you can kind of see up there at the top, um, you can see the Raspberry Pi sitting up there, much like uh, I have in the pictures in the post. And then uh, down here to my right, I have my Chromebook and uh, it's connected to initial state and I also uh, kind of pre-connected everything to uh, to the garage door opener interface. Uh, we should use in our mobile app normally, but uh, we're going to use a Chromebook here just because uh, I can't flip back and forth with my phone and video at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to access the bucket uh, that I have everything sitting in um, for my... Uh, from an analytics perspective. So this is my garage door bucket and I'm just gonna close the little yellow bar down at the bottom here. And uh, sorry if it's a little unsteady, but uh, my hand's not that steady while well, I'm trying to do multiple things. So the other thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna come over to the stream of data, to the data stream, and I'm just gonna come down to the bottom here. Unfortunately, this does not, uh, this does not start with the last event. So it kind of goes in chronological order. So here we are at the bottom and um, we can kind of see that uh, all the way at the bottom here, the current door status is there's nothing streaming because the door is actually uh, actually uh, closed. And uh, I just opened up the log, so that's the way it's uh, supposed to look. So we're going to come over here to the to the to the interface, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door using the traditional button. So the door is now opening, and uh, I'm going to look down here at the interface, and you will see that the door says that it's open. And then uh, I'm going to flip over to, and we can see, if you can see there, we're at event 12411, and we're going to start streaming events now to say that the door is open. So now we're down, you know, 12416, 12418, you get the, you get the point. It's going to continue streaming events, um, stating the door is open. So we'll come back over here to the interface. You can see the door is still open. And what I'm going to do, and you may or may not be able to hear this, but the relay will trip. I'm going to say, uh, close the garage door. It will simulate basically me touching with my finger. It asks me a question, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And now the door is closing. You'll notice the door status still says open. Well, that's because the magnetic switch hasn't tripped yet, which is actually located at the top of the door. So when the top of the garage door closes, it essentially changes the status to closed. So now we can see that the door is closed. So we'll come back over here, and if we go back to initial state and look at our status, we can see that the door is closed. And then there's all kinds of cool things we can do in here, which I kind of put in the blog post, which is we can look at, we can go in here and we can kind of look at over time the status of the door by a line graph. We can look at, um, <clears throat> we can go and look at our signal stats over time. So how often the door is open, how long it's closed, how far between events, uh, all kinds of cool little stats that we can grab uh, from this interface. But it all kind of comes from the streaming status data, which is all stored here. So just to finish up, I am going to just open the, open the door from the interface. So I'll come back over here and I'm gonna open the door. It's gonna say, are you sure? I'll say yes. And now the door is opening and you see it changes to open almost immediately. And then we'll come over here, look at the door, and we can see the door is in fact open. And then uh, one thing, we'll just to, just to close it out, we'll come back over to the traditional wall switch, and we will close the door, and we'll come back over to the interface, see the door is closing, we'll come back over to the interface, and we will see that the door will essentially be closed. So that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I really enjoyed the project. I hope you uh, can build a product just like it and enjoy it as well.